Hi and welcome to this short walk around Portland. We're starting at Wakeham on the east side of Portland at the car park and then going up to the museum, down to Rufus Castle, down the steps towards Church Oak Cove, almost to the bottom, before climbing a little way to St Andrew's Church and the Pirate's Graveyard and back up through the woods to our starting point at the car park. Come out of the car park and turn left and you'll see ahead of you a thatched cottage which is Portland Museum, inaugurated in 1932 by Dr Mary Stokes. It tells you all you need to know about life at Portland in times gone by, including fishing, quarrying, the military associations, farming, and accounts of the numerous shipwrecks that have come to grief around the rocky shores of Portland. And you'll also find out why there is a mummified cat on display. Well worth a visit if you've got the time. Find out more at www.portlandmuseum.co.uk From the museum, carry on down the lane and immediately on your left you'll see a couple of cottages and a sign saying Well Beloved Yard For those who are familiar with Thomas Hardy and the novel of the same name, you'll recognise this Carry on down the lane then, and just around the corner you'll get the first glimpse of Rufus, or as it's known, Bow and Arrow Castle. And this castle dates from the mid-1400s, although the origins suggest that there may have been a castle in the area around the late 11th century. Pass under the archway, and you come to a seating area where there was a lovely view out over Weymouth Bay, and Church Oak Cove. Now we're about to start on section 3 of the walk and I would suggest that if you have any motability problems or wheels then this might be a good time to sit down for a little longer, admire the view and perhaps go back the way we came and go down to the Pirate's Graveyard from the other direction because the going gets a little bit rougher now. So we're going to take the steps down to Church Oak Cove. We're going to go about three quarters of the way down the steps are well found, but they are quite steep in places, so just take your time. And on the way down, admire the view, and if you look up above you, you'll see Rufus or Bonao Castle perched on the cliff edge. A little way down, if you look up to the right, there is a bench set away from the path a bit, where you can sit and uh, take five minutes rest. What we're looking for, though, is the sign pointing up to the right to the ruins of the 13th century church. Take the steps up towards St Andrew's Church. The steps are a little bit steep and rickety in places and I certainly wouldn't put too much faith in the handrail. But when you get to the top, the first thing you want to do is just turn left and take a look down over Church Oak Cove and out to sea. A wonderful view, I think. So now you're in the pirate's graveyard. Have a look around at the gravestones dating from the mid 1700s and see if you can find the skull and crossbones. There are a few there, but I guess the clearest one is the one on the sarcophagus at the end of the graveyard. Exit through the arch and make your way up through the woods. So just before we reach the road and the car park from where we started, you'll see on the left Pennsylvania Castle or Sylvania Castle as Thomas Hardy called it. At the very top of the path there is an information board that will tell you all about the castle, how it came to be built and how it was used in later times. And that concludes our walk. I hope you've enjoyed it but before we go there follows just a few words of warning about when you're walking around Portland. 
Portland is a rugged island and many of the tracks and paths are uneven, so decent shoes are certainly recommended. Please do not climb on any quarry or cliff faces which may be loose or unstable. And finally, there are steep drops all around, so take care, especially with children and dogs. Should you have or suspect anyone else has a problem on the cliffs, shoreline or at sea, dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard.